Shalom Aleichem guys, how are you doing? I uh, found this wonderful, super fantastic and uh, inspiring text um, Text Flowers Text And, uh, and uh, I wanted to share it with you It's from Rabbi Natan Likute Alachot um, Breslev, Breslev Light and um, so it's written ki bemet, because really the truth is that there is nothing that is standing in front like um, to stop the tshuva there is nothing that can hold you back from coming back to Hashem to the truth and even though that it's written that on certain violations on certain things it's written in the Bible in, in the Chumash in Parashat Vayechi kol ba'eha lo yeshuvun there are certain sins that a person that is, um, if he commits that sin, that violation, he cannot come back. So even though that it's written that there are sins that you cannot come back from if you did it, so horrible things, such horrible things, still, and, and still there is a solution. Okay, soon we're going to see. And he's saying on top of that, and as well, Ve'ita Bazar, it's written in the Zohar Kadosh that Tshuva cannot... Uh, be done cannot help for people on people who took out um, uh, their sperm um, for for wrong reasons like outside um, um, so like that is the the worst violation of of the of the biblical obligation of the oral Torah obligation pgam habrit and the Zohar Kadosh is saying that there is no tikkun for that, no correction for that, even though truly the real truth is that tshuva is useful. And like that it's written in all the books of uh, Musar. Musar is like educational content. And he brings here for an example, Rashid Chochma, one of the main books of of. Uh, of, of wisdom of the Jewish and ancient um, wisdom um, that we that we own and like that I heard from Rabbi Nachman of Breslev from Rabbeinu himself clearly he said that those things that the reason why it's written that the person cannot come back to Hashem and cannot do tshuva is that only because that he defected so much, so badly, the person sinned so badly, for that he needs to go through that test and to be cleansed by standing in that test of being rejected in that way. Means that he needs to feel that they are rejecting him so much in so many kinds of rejections, means that even that fact that they are writing on him that he cannot do tshuva this is the test that he needs to go through but it doesn't mean that it's the truth this is the test that he needs to go through because that he sinned so badly that he needs to hear and to think to have that doubt in himself that he might not be able to come back so when the person is not thinking right and, and silly, he does not have mercy on himself and he's losing his world, God forbid. And then he finds an excuse for himself to go away from the tshuva because he's finding that it was written on him that he does not have a way to do tshuva. The tshuva will not be useful for him, God forbid. He finds that as an excuse. But... A person who really thinks about his purpose and he has mercy on himself, then even though that he sees all kinds of rejections, all kinds of rejections in the world, in any kind, and even though that it's written on him that he himself cannot do tshuva, even though he does not look at it at all, and even more so, he has more mercy on himself. Because he's thinking to himself, even though, what will be with me? What will I do for judgment day? How can I fix myself? I don't want to confuse myself and mislead myself to make mistake and to lose everything, God forbid. And as much as he finds that he's being rejected more, 
he finds more energy to have mercy on himself and he screams to God more and more from the bottom of his heart until Hashem will look at him from the sky because really Hashem, the source of blessing, desires only kindness and he himself is the one who enters, who let people uh, come back and we found even like in different stories that real evil people that were really really bad were able to come back and they got a second chance and an opportunity to come back so basically when you hear people that are telling you that you don't have a chance that you cannot do tshuva that uh, tshuva will not be good for you like all those like horrible horrible creepy speakers it can be even your parents, it can be even your your friends, it can be even rabbis that are titling themselves as righteous and, and leaders of, of the generation. Don't fall in their trap to think that you are hopeless. You're amazing, you're an amazing soul and Hashem will complete your correction and He's the one who desires mercy and He will help you to gain it all and to correct it all if you will be wise not to give up and never to lose hope. Thank you.